Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create and configure the React message component using the create react app command and sync Fusion EJ to React notifications package. Using the react message component, you can display information with different severity types and predefined styles. I will show you how to configure a few of its basic features like changing variants, showing or hiding severity and close icons, customization, and templates. Let's start with the application creation process. Make sure you have installed the latest version of React and Node in your system. I'll use VS Code as my editor and show the output in the Chrome browser. Now, I'll create a new application in the command prompt using the command npx create react app and provide the app name my react app. I set the template script version to TypeScript. Let's wait until the project is created. Next, I navigate to the project location and install the SyncFusion message package using the command npm install at SyncFusion ej2 react notifications. Let's wait until the package is installed. After installation, I open the project in VS Code. First, I open the app.tsx file to add the message component and remove the default code snippets. Let me add the CSS reference first. I open the app.css page and remove the default CSS styles. Reference the Bootstrap 5 CSS styles to apply them to the message component. Before using the SyncFusion components, I need to register the trial license key. Open the index.tsx file and import the register license method from the SyncFusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, register the trial license key. From the 2022 Volume 1 release, a license key is mandatory for React projects to avoid license warnings. To know where to generate the trial license key, check the description below. In this video for demonstration purpose, I will display the SyncFusion message component when the age entered in the input element is not between 18 and 60. As a first step, I add the label and set the caption as enter your age. Next, I add an input element to get the age value. And I add the onChange event. This event triggers every time the value is changed and assign the callback method handleChange. I define this method here. I declare a variable input value and get the value entered in the input element through event argument. Here, I will write a condition to check whether the age is less than 18 or greater than 60. Based on that condition, I'm going to display the message component by using its visible property and use state hook. I import the use state hook from the React package. Now, I include a state variable is visible of type boolean and set its default value to false. I use the set visibility method to update this state variable. Here I add the set visibility method and write a condition to check the entered input value is less than 18 and greater than 60 and update this state variable to true. If this condition fails, I update this state variable to false. Next, I import the message component from the SyncFusion EJ2 React notification package. Here, add the message component tag and set the content enter a valid age between 18 and 60. I can show or hide this component by adding the visible property and assign the state variable is visible. I open the app.css page and to align the wrapper element, I add margin to 5%. Next, I set the width to message component using a built-in class, eMessage. By default, this class will be added to message component. Now, let me run the application using the command npm start. Check now, a message is displayed when the age value entered is not between 18 and 60. Next, I will show you the other features of the message component in the same example. You can change the appearance of the message component using the three built-in variants, filled, outlined, and text. The default variant is text. You can see the text variant here. 
In this variant, the severity is differentiated, using a text color and a light background color. To change the message component appearance, I include the variant property and set message variant to filled. You can see the filled message variant. In this variant, the severity is differentiated, using a text color and a dark background color. Next, change the variant to outlined. See, in this variant, the severity is differentiated, using a text color and a border without a background. Let's see the different severity types, normal, info, success, warning, and error. To show a warning, add the severity property and set the message severity to warning. Check now severity is changed from info to warning. There is also an option that customize the alignment of the content displayed in the message. By default, the content is aligned to the left. I can change it to center or right using the CSS class property. I assign the built-in class eContentCenter. Check now, the content is at the center. Next, I will show you how to show or hide the icons in the message. By default, the severity icon is shown and close icon is hidden. I hide the severity icon by disabling the show icon property and show the close icon by enabling the show close icon property. Check now, the severity icon is hidden and the close icon is shown. Finally, I will show you how to customize the message content. You can customize a React message by adding a string, paragraph, or any HTML element. Here I'm going to hide the default close button and include the dismiss button using the content property to close the message. I set the show close icon value to false. To use the Syncfusion button, open the terminal, type the command, npm install at Syncfusion EJ2 React buttons. Here, I import the button component from React buttons package. Before using the Syncfusion button, I need to provide the other content in the template design. So, I add the content property to render the template and assign the method content template. I will define this method here and return the template. I add a wrapper element and move this message content here. Next, I add the button component tag and set its content to dismiss. I add the onClick event and assign the callback method dismissClick. I define this method here. Hide the message component by passing false to the set visibility method. Check now when I click the dismiss button, the message will be closed. In this video, I have shown you how to create and configure the Syncfusion React message component using the create react app command and how to use a few of its basic features. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the description below. I've also shared a link where you can learn about obtaining a free license key to use our React products if you're eligible for our community license. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.